What's up YouTube? Here at Panama City Airport at four good days in Panama City. Now my next stop will be Malta. Never been to Malta and uh, to get there it's not going to be exactly the easiest journey. I'm going to have to have two layovers. As I was saying, first stop will be in Cancun, three to four hour layover. From there, I have to hop on another flight to Istanbul with Turkish Airlines. Istanbul, it'll be a long layover, nine hour layover. I'm gonna try to get out of the airport and see if I can explore the city a little bit. Not sure if I'm be able to do that. So, looking forward to it. This flight to Cancun will not offer meal service, so it's just going to be basic snacks and apparently all the drinks that I want. Too bad I'm not much of a solo drinker, so I'm just going to opt for some healthier choice here. Green tea. First impressions, the seats are very comfortable, nicely designed, and uh, as you can see there's no one here sitting in business besides myself. So basically this whole cabin will be occupied by me. Just got here to Cancun, was able to avoid a few disasters basically. When I checked in my luggage in Panama City, the guy at the front desk told me that my bags were going to go all the way to Malta and I wouldn't need to pick them up in Mexico and I wouldn't need to pick them up in Turkey. That was completely wrong. Just through talking to some of the uh, flight attendants, they told me they're pretty sure I needed to pick up my luggage in Mexico, in Cancun. So that was basically a life savior because um, I was going to go to my connecting flight without picking up my luggage if it weren't for her. So that would have been tragic. All right, guys, I'm on board Turkish Airlines from Cancun to Istanbul. Looks like it's not going to be a full flight, which is good. Same business class. So far, it looks like the seat's going to recline all the way. So that's going to be nice. So I might be able to lay flat and actually get some Z's. Hopefully get like six hours of sleep. And uh, whatever they're serving here in this glass is called uh, fresh raspberry. Okay, this was pretty cool. Alright y'all, just uh, landed in Istanbul, Turkey. I've always liked the Istanbul, Turkey airport. It looks super modern, super cool. So I have a nine, oh, nine hours, yes, nine hours, but probably eight and a half left of layover time. I'm still debating whether or not to get out of the airport and check out Turkey, get into town. It's not a lot of time. I mean, nine hours sounds like a lot, but by the time I get out there with traffic, it's probably two hours. And then I need to be back three hours ahead of my flight. So I have really about five hours. So I'm still trying to figure out if I should uh, go outside the airport and check out maybe one or two places at most. Let's see how I feel. I'm going to talk to the immigration people make sure my luggage is actually going to be kept here in the airport for my transferring flight and I don't actually have to retrieve it and take it out or store somewhere that's going to be a lot of extra trouble if that's going to be the situation I am not going to leave the airport so we'll see The airport's second floor level is for the lounge, dedicated specifically for the lounge. And in the lounge, there's ever dreamed of needing. So it's basically like a buffet, a massive buffet, a restaurant. Number one, they have all kinds of food, all you can eat, multiple types of kitchens with different types of food and just beverages, every corner. 
tons of seating, never seems to be too crowded. The food was absolutely amazing. They cooked it basically in front of you and it was extremely fresh, extremely delicious. You have free lockers, charge your phone, and that's awesome if you don't have your charger, but most people do. They've got multiple lounges within the lounge. What I'm sitting here is yeah, almost like a study room, library, it's just very calm and uh, soothing to be in here. You can totally take a long nap here if you want. It's, it feels like a cigar bar without the scars almost. And um, trying my first uh, Turkish tea. Which they have a lot to choose from. Salad bar, fruit bar, pasta, Asian food like noodles, Mediterranean foods. Um, they have a piano where they play music. Um, they have these like concierge, multiple services including ironing service which is pretty amazing if you need to just um, iron your blazer before you go meet someone important. So that's nice. Bathrooms were amazing. I know I don't need to really talk about bathrooms but I have to make case here because I've been in some lounges where there's like two stalls you have a line but this is just like perfect this huge multiple stalls multiple sinks probably like one of the bathrooms had like 10 plus sinks in there it has an attendant in there as well so just totally outstanding people are here to serve you Wi-Fi seems to be working great and fast and just little nooks and you know here and there that you can just kind of hide out and just doze off and I mean one of them there's just so many little nooks you can just hide yourself from everybody and have private conversations and all the stuff you need to do so uh, just really really amazing uh, my day over here is seven hours and seven plus hours and I've been here for two hours and it two plus hours and it seemed like 30 minutes that's how relaxed I am here all no I think I have to save Istanbul for another proper trip to actually go out and see it so I give it um, all the credit it deserves Istanbul is a very big city, so I think uh, just going out there for 30 minutes to an hour or two just will do us justice. So that will have to come on the next vlog. What I have to tell you, that's all for now. I'm just gonna sit here, relax, do some work, and um, edit some videos. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some more work done before I hop on my last flight to Malta. So it will also be a business class ticket. So hopefully, the seats will be comfortable. But all in all, my Turkish, my first Turkish airline experience head to toe has been pretty amazing all the credit to you guys Turkish Airlines thanks Destination Malta. It's absolutely gorgeous here so far. Took a little stroll last night when I first got here, and this is a very, very pretty city we're at right now. Super romantic. Got my little tour guide here. Gonna show me. Looking forward to it. this view and avocado toast with the coffee but that was like 13 euros and there's actually an option for a buffet for 60 euros so we said the heck with it we're going full blown buffet and now we have everything to choose from life is good life is good for her too mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah So 
second round, got more eggs and salmon. And this is the danger of a buffet, you just tend to overeat, but uh, whenever everything is inclusive, you want to get your money's worth, and that's what we're doing. We eat our money's worth, and make sure we have full stomach. Alright, now we're about to hop on a bus to get there. One euro and sixty per passenger to get to the place you want to go. Malta cultural living right now. Instead of hopping on an Uber, we're gonna get on one of these crowded buses. Somehow I'm not looking forward to it, but it's definitely more economical. And we get to see how people, I guess, ride their transportation here. guys we are here when I'm taking Uber we failed as a tourist we didn't quite make it with the public transportation instructions are very very hard to follow in terms of getting public transportation here so we decided to hop on an Uber and got here and um, it was about 15 euros but behind me you will see it this is where Blue Grotto is supposedly there's a ferry that, we, that takes us to another part small little island among islands where we can get even more spectacular views if you can believe it look at this For about 20 minutes. The view was amazing. The water was crystal blue. I thought that was very unique. I don't think I've ever seen water I wanted to jump in and swim more than this one. And as you can see, there were a lot of people that were jumping, diving into the water. But we weren't prepared to get in the water. We didn't bring our bathing suits. So we'll have to come back or go to another island that has similar water conditions and uh, we'll get prepared. And now we are in Valarca. So this is the city center. Really pretty cool, very different from the usual city centers you see in Europe, yeah? It's much more kind of like the washed stone, unlike those typical brick buildings you see in you know, like the UK, London. Just uh, more of that desert stone look. But uh, unique, very unique as well. Would you say? What do you think? Yeah, completely different. Completely different? Expected. Right? Even compared to Greece or you know, Portugal, different. Very different. Very different. 
It's kind of cool you have this little walkway here. trick. Um, I know you guys been waiting for this and uh, so here we go. Okay so this is how she looks normally and if she wants to become pregnant this is what it looks like. <laughs> Are you sure that's not the normal? How do you do that? This is normal. Oh my goodness. Alright we got our food. Poke bowl. What did you get? Hmm? Pot thai. Pot thai. Chicken, Chicken pot thai. instant smile after she got her chicken pad thai. Yes. Before the pad thai, I was like, this is, this is, this is me. Yeah. No, no pad thai. Food always makes me happy. So, instead of staying inside trapped in a restaurant, we decide to enjoy this view yeah. while we have our wonderful yeah. food. Purple or yellow? Um, yellow? purple one. Purple, purple. We, we take purple. Purple. All right. There's a hat there. So you hat first. Oh, you want somewhere there? Yeah, this is no. Absolutely amazing. Life is good. Can't complain. With that said, I think it might be time to eat. Let's give the viewers a, a look. Mm. We got tuna pad thai from Asian Kingdom. Asian Kingdom. I'm not sponsoring you. I'm not endorsing you, but if you'd like to, for me to give a shout out, just let me know, give me millions, and I'll make your show popular. <laughs> 